Hello, I am Madhani Ariam. In this presentation, I am going to talk about how to teach control and responsibility for your teenagers. Control and responsibility, if someone's behavior is driving you mad, please slow down and consider the possibility of control issues on your part. We are telling this to your teenager. Did you know that it, it is possible for you to try to control another person and not even be aware of what you are doing? It is very possible. In fact, this is a common dynamic in relationships that involve drug and ab alcohol abuse. However, this dynamic is often found in other relationships as well. It is something you need to know and understand in order to avoid bad relationships and increase your ability to develop good relationships. Does it upset you when you hear someone gossip? Does it upset you when someone acts as if they are better than everybody else or if they want to be rude? These things can be aggravating, it's true. But if you stay irritated longer than most other people, stop and consider the possibility of control issues. When you are upset by another person's behavior, it is usually because they are not behaving the way you think they, they should behave. You may know what the person is doing wrong and what they should and should not do. It may be clear to you that the person's behavior is harmful if they would only do as, a, as you say, they would be much better off. You want to help this person and it drives you nuts, they will not listen. It is not your responsibility to control another person. You have to remember that we are, you are not controlling another person. Remember that you cannot control another person. That's important. You can make suggestions but you can't control the person and make them behave as you think they should. In fact, the only thing you can control is your own behavior. Some of your discomfort may be because you feel responsible for another person's behavior. You may feel embarrassed, almost as it was, as if it was your behavior. Think about this. If you can't control another person's behavior, how can you be responsible for that behavior? You are not responsible for other people's behavior. You are only responsible for your own behavior. You can only control your own behavior. If another person chooses to gossip, be rude, or abuse drugs, alcohol, remember, they are responsible for that behavior, not you. You cannot force them to stop because you cannot control them. So you have to remember all these points. Try and control yourself. That's important. What can you control or what you are responsible for? You can control one thing and you are only responsible for one thing, which is your own behavior. So what can you do in these situations? First, it is helpful to stop and think through the situation as it relates to control and responsibility. Are you upset? If you are upset, it is related to another person's behavior. Were you in control of that behavior? Were you responsible for that behavior? No. If not, then put that burden down, take the weight off your shoulders and feed the relief. It is always helpful to clarify what you are and what you are not in control of and what you can do or and cannot do. Have a clear mind. Now that your mind is clear, think about what you can control and what you are responsible for. This would be your, this would be your own behavior. Now you can stop filling your mind with what other person is doing and focus on what you can do. This removes a burden for you and is much more productive. You may choose to have a conversation with the person and let them know 
what you heard sounded rude and or arrogant. They may listen and adjust their behavior or you may be ignored. Either way, you have thought about it through and chosen to act rather than react. You are responsible for your actions and you need you acted responsibly. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. What about the person who feels guilty because they made someone angry? Does it upset you if someone becomes angry? I suppose that many people would feel some emotion. However, each person decides how he or she will respond to a situation. Sometimes they give it some thought and act, and sometimes they react with little thought. So these are the things you have to teach a yeah, teenager to learn in life before become they they much older. So better to start it now itself. Teach them to be responsible and the control issues as well. The point is point is that not only we are responsible for our own actions, but we are also responsible for our own reactions and emotions. An exception would be the individual who suffers from mental illness and a chemical imbalance that affects the emotions. I hope you understand these tips and he tips helpful for you to teach a teenager to learn control and responsibility. Thank you for listening, my, listening to my presentation. Thank you. Bye for now. I'll see you in another one.